and I thought glow-in-the-dark fake doo-doo was such a good idea. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Pretty small. Things are growing in it. My dad has one of these in his den. British are coming. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid. I want to save it for maximum comedy potential. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? No. Pity.
Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smug? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby! Hey, keep your hands off that!
Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. I don't wanna. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? Full view of the outhouses. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. It's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's a...
That doesn't need a battery. Need to get it charged first. It looks kind of small for me. This ought to be good. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. Thank <laughs> you. 
the water's all sudsy now. Nothing to clean in here. Nice raincoat. I wish I needed it, but unfortunately the sun continues to mock me with its insipid warmth. Dum-de-dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, alright? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Oops. What part of the word now didn't you understand? Err. Uh. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Now! Oops. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. 
marvelous. Oops. Look, it's very simple. I <laughs> say now and you push the kite. Comprenez vous? Got it. Marvelous. Now. We Look at her go. Now all we need is a little Hey. So what happened after I fainted? Well, after the lightning hit the kite, it came crashing down on your head. The lightning? No, the kite. Drat! What do you think we should do? I'd like to go back to my lab and consider the situation. Sounds like something I would say. Ready for another brush with destiny? I'd rather mope around some more. I'll be waiting. Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? Splendid! Now! Oops. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez vous? Got it. Marvelous! Oops. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez vous? Got it. Marvelous. Now. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Wow. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I'll have to wait for Bernard and Laverne. Thank <laughs> you.
I got the problematic gizmo for you, sir! You mean the high-frequency fragistatic generator? Yes, that one. But I'm having trouble locating the pneumo what's this? The pneumo electric deamplifier. You might try that old abandoned lab in the basement. It's hardly been touched in 200 years. Yes, sir! The diminuator will be my crowning success. With it, I'll be able to shrink the entire human race out of sight. <laughs> What an interesting mannequin! You're ready to go now! I would, but who would see it? Why would he need a sense of humor in here? I don't think so. That's one of the few places where fake bark isn't useful. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with tales of my adventures. Red, white, and blue. Is that look coming back in again? Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. 
Oh, ick! Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. I could never do that to someone as shy and sensitive as my friend here. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa.
I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Frozen solid. It has three settings. Cook, jet defrost, and mutilate beyond recognition. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. got an impressive smile, a nice hearty laugh, and luscious stylish hair. Pretty darn good for a mummy. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed.
Hey, when are you guys going to judge Best Smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. This has to be special. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should! Big deal! I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it! Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail! If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work.
Ja, Alp. Hey, it's not a toy. I don't do cruelty to animals, no matter how vicious. gonna put it Where am I gonna put it Where am I gonna put it Where am I gonna put it Yo, Ibe. Where am I gonna put it? Sounds like the cats caught a moose up there. the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. What do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Hey, look, a skunk. Humans, you can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty?
That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. It's the same.